I got my three hours of sleep last night. So now it's time to check out of this hole and hit the road. This area is definitely quieter during the morning hours. It seems like everyone is passed out and fast asleep after the frivolities of last night. Check out this weird rash I got from the hotel room. A souvenir from the greenhouse, Bangkok. After checking out, I took a stroll down toward the Smile Inn, where I have stayed before, and I know I'll get a good night's sleep. Check out this sidewalk tailor. He's just hanging out with his sewing machine, mending people's clothes. Along the way, I spotted this cool abandoned building. I wonder if I just moved myself in here and made it my home. Would anybody notice? Time for an authentic Thai lunch at this makeshift sidewalk bistro. Then I decided to head a block over and walk along this beautiful canal. Like I said, I'm making my way back to the Smile Inn. I really like that place. It's about $15 a night. You get a clean, comfortable, air-conditioned room. And you're not located next door to the world's nightclub. And here we are. After spending a few weeks in Thailand at various hotels, I've really come to appreciate this place. And it has a nice view of the shuttle boats flying by on the canal. Speaking of which, why don't we actually take a ride on one of these shuttle boats? All you have to do is walk toward one of these special docks set up for these shuttles. This is incredible. Look at all the places you can go. Just make sure you have cash on hand, like everything else here in Thailand. The station starts to fill up with people as it gets closer to the time when the boats arrive. And be ready to jump on these things. This is epic. Why didn't I know about this earlier? Okay, this is my favorite way to get around Bangkok. Had I known about these shuttles earlier, I could have avoided a lot of boring, expensive taxi rides. You do have to know where your stop is, though. They don't really announce it. You kind of have to know where you're going to exit. Ah, this looks familiar. There is the BTS Skytrain. Check out this cool green car. What kind of car is that? Does anybody know? I want one. Ugh, more disturbing public art. What is it with these statues in Bangkok?
you might recognize where we're at right now if you've been watching my vlogs. This is that epic intersection with the SkyTrain above, pedestrian walkway in the middle, and the streets full of cars below. I just had to get more footage here. This place really impressed me. I'm not sure what this is about, but I'm always up for gigantic cat statues. Off in the distance here, you can see this really cool office building. It looks like a crumbling relic from a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a modern architectural feat. It's called the Mahang Nakhon skyscraper. And since we're in the area, I had to go back and visit Pat Pong Night Bazaar. It's so weird to have all these counterfeit fake goods out in the open. But really, if you like this kind of stuff, do not make any purchases here. You will get ripped off. The pricing is more than double what you can find these things for on some Chinese website. And the quality is horrible. The lighting here isn't very good. But when you get the stuff home, wow, do you feel like the world's biggest sucker. Walking around this area at night is very entertaining. There's so many flashing lights and strange people, lots of traffic. I love these timers. They show you how long you have until the light turns. That one's about to turn. Oh, yellow, red, green. Awesome. Not so brilliant are the sidewalks in Bangkok. I mean, look at this place. They're broken up, half of them are missing, it's dirt, it's sand. If this is under construction, I don't see any signs. Not the best city to go for a walk in, especially at night. Looking through the trash. Oh, bye, bye, kitty. Bye, bye, kitty. These cool overhead walkways give you a great view of the traffic. Looks like it's laundry night. And now it's time for some curbside dining. I'm not actually sure what I ordered here, but I saw the eggs and the bananas and I was in. Turns out, this is some sort of banana egg crepe. Not the most nutritious, but man, it was good. I'm happy to be back here at the Smile Inn. If I had this trip to do all over again, I would not spend any of my nights in a hotel near Khao San Road. It's just too noisy and too dirty. From my current location, I can hop on one of these water taxis and Khao San is the next stop over. 
you can easily come back when you're done and get a quiet night's sleep. Or if you want to go downtown to Siam Square, that's also quick to get to from here. Oh well, lesson learned. Thanks for watching. Good evening.